is Freya. I am a math student here at Oxford. Today I want to take you on a short tour of Oxford to see something called freeze groups. So what is a freeze? A freeze is a stone carving on the side of a big building, for example a Greek temple or here the Bradleyan Library. The freeze group is a group of symmetries on such a strip. So there are four types of transformations which do not distort images. We have the translations, we got the reflections, then, then there's the rotations, and finally the glide reflections. Notice how these transformations might change the image. We'll be only looking at transformations which do not change the image. We call these symmetries. Not every pattern has all of the four symmetries I mentioned, but we will be restricting our attention to the patterns which have at least the translation, i.e. patterns that repeat. One example of a freeze you can see here in the crenellations on top of Warden College. Uh, these crenellations have almost all of the symmetries. The only one it doesn't have is the horizontal reflection. The first freeze pattern in our classification has only translational symmetry. This is the simplest. There are three patterns that have two symmetries. Translation and reflection across vertical axes, translation and rotation, translation and glide reflection. A pattern that has translation and reflection across horizontal axes gets a third symmetry automatically, glide reflection. The sixth freeze pattern has translation, reflection across vertical axes, rotations and glide reflections. It is impossible to have three of these without getting the fourth. The seventh and last pattern has all symmetries. When Keeble College was built, it was one of the most hated colleges in Oxford for the bricks and decorations used. However, you can now appreciate the vast number of freeze patterns that exist. understand freeze patterns, as mathematicians we want to extend the concept. A freeze can be translated in one direction and this yields seven different patterns. What if we can translate in two directions? These symmetry groups are called wallpaper groups. The extra dimension allows for more different transformations. For example, before the only possible rotation was 180 degrees. Now it's possible to create patterns which can be rotated 60 degrees or multiples of this. This painted porcelain from China is one example, and this Persian ornament is another. The symmetries of the two patterns are not the same. One has reflection while the other does not. Therefore they represent two different groups, and the question is of course, how many different groups are there? The answer is 17. So far we've only been looking at patterns that repeat infinitely often, but there are also patterns that contain only a few different tiles but do not repeat at all. One particularly pretty example of this is the Penrose paving. This is the math department in Oxford, and in front of it there is a little piece of the Penrose tiling. What buckles my mind is that it has only two different tiles but it does not repeat at all. So you could expand this piece as far as you would in any direction and you would still be able to recognize this exact spot. 